I wanted to have this last little bit for a while because I think that those of us who have come out of the fog of a narcissist, um, be it family, be it friends, be it lovers, we will have a, I guess, a run-in sooner or later with the new person in their life. Now, usually when you hear the term new supply, it's usually about a new uh, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. But that's not really it. Believe it or not, the new supply can be a best friend, a new best friend. It could be a relative, right? That is suddenly a golden child, a perfect whatever. Um, the new supply or the new person that gets all of the narcissist's attention and elevation can be anyone. And so a lot of people on the internet talk about them and whatever, um, but I want to have a very personal conversation with the new person uh, because I feel that this new person is not going to listen to warnings. So I'm just going to be Cruella DeVille about it. Hello, new person. How's it going? Yes, gleefully in the back of your mind, you know about me and you feel like you have won. And you know what? I'm going to keep it real. I felt like you won too. Because I had that moment where I doubted myself and I thought I wasn't worthwhile. And yeah, man, you won. And that must make you feel great, right? Because you're probably thinking, oh man, this person chose me over her? Him? I must be better. You are. I will admit that. You're better at being controlled. Now, let me tell you why you're in this situation and why I don't envy you. In fact, I honestly and genuinely feel for you. You see, hurt people hurt people, but healed people heal people. And I know you have done one of these three things with this person. First off, your standards are low. And so I can guarantee you that you probably slept with this person very, very quickly. And so now the great sex has blinded you and you feel that your sex will keep this person in your life. And it will for a while but it won't be as long-term as you want it to be. You see, people who use people and take people don't really respect them at the end. They tolerate them, they put them in the corner, they show them off, but the best of your relationship has now had its peak. The sex was amazing, I know it was, the fun times that you had, great. You both looked at me as if I was the enemy, right? That I was the problem. I was basically the reason why your bond was so tight. And that's okay. Second, you are a broken person. And I know you're broken. Because the same stuff that this person was telling you, this person told me. Um, and also the same thing, the same gossip that this person told you about me, believe me, they told me about you too. So you just decided to accept what they said without investigating it, without really learning who I was because, you know, children gossip and that's okay. But here's the thing. Now that you don't have a common focus point to fight against, what is your relationship really going to be? 
how has it grown to grow? How will you both actually have a stable relationship? You can't have a relationship with you against the world forever. It doesn't work like that. Last but not least, you know this isn't going to last, right? Even if you get married, it won't last. And let me tell you why. Because even though that you have been having sex with this person, hanging out with this person, having intimate nights with this person, do you know that this person still texts me after you guys are finished and you're asleep? Texting me that they miss me and that no one can make them laugh like I do? And do you know I don't answer their texts? But they still text me because they don't want to wake you up. And it gets to the point where you're at work, they call me. And I let them talk to me for 30 minutes to an hour because I want to see what they're talking about. I still get gifts from them. You know that, right? So whatever war chest that you have right now, know that I'm also dipping into it with probably other women as well, probably other dudes as well. He's not loyal. She's not loyal. And the moment that they get bored of you, like they did me, they'll look for someone else. Or they'll see me again, and I've changed. And then they realize, oh, this person has a higher value than the one that I'm with. Or it could happen this way, is that someone will see you and you realize that your relationship, your friendship, is actually made of nothing but broken hearts, tears, and anger. And then you'll see that it's empty and you'll want something that's going to fulfill you. And then you'll leave this person and they'll blame themselves and you'll say well you didn't make a decision and this is going to be specifically for marriage because i'm going to give you some old lady wisdom if a person especially a man has not made the effort the effort to get you out of girlfriend status to put a ring on your finger by a year and a half, they're not going to do so. You gave them everything that they wanted. I want you to sit on that. And not in a vindictive way, but just as a warm lesson that I had to learn multiple times. And just know that I don't envy you. Hell, you rescued me because you let me have an open door for someone who will love me for me, who will take care of me and cherish me. And you are going to deal with heartbreak of the worst type. Probably not now, but it will happen. And I'm sorry that you'll have to endure it.